IgM. Is that right? Those classes of antibodies. Alternate pathways activated when antibody even are not present. Without the presence of antibodies, alternate pathway can be activated as a first line of defense. Just some proteins touch the surface and complement system is activated. Right? What do you think in this case? Antibodies are involved? No. No. So, when bacteria come in your body, they are active, this pathway is activated early or late? Early. early. Because we don't need antibodies. Antibody takes time to build up. But menin is exposed on the surface of bacteria and menin binding proteins are normally present in our blood. Do you get it? Is that right? And of course, this pathway is acting like innate, innate immune response. Innate immune responses which is non-specifically activated against multiple organisms and which is present naturally in your body and which with repeated exposure which does not boost up. That is called innate immunity. So this is an example of innate immunity and this is also an example of innate immunity. Your skin provides innate immunity. Skin is normally present either bacteria come or not. And repeated attack of bacteria will not increase the skin to augment, I hope. Is that right? So this is an example of innate. In the same way this pathway alternate and this is example of innate. This is dependent on antibodies and antibodies are acquired after the exposure to the antigen or bacteria. So this is helping, this part, part of the uh, complement system is helping the acquired immunity. Now look, do you think immune system will work well without complement proteins? No. So it means complement proteins augment the function of immune system or complement proteins complement the function of immune system. Is that clear? Okay. We have talked about that what are the function of C5, B6789, they will produce perforations. Is that right? But we, did, we have also talked about C3B, we checked as what kind of molecule? Opsonin Opson molecule. But we did not talk about all this huge, huge group of A. Apples are also doing certain functions. Should I tell you? You want to really know yes. that these broken fragments are really useful or not? These broken hearts also do some functions. Right? Let me tell you what they do. We will make a simple diagram. That when there is bacteria present in your body and they are damaging the tissue, of course there is some inflammatory and immune response produced, complement system is activated and breakdown products or breakdown products of the complement proteins are produced at the site of inflammation and at the site of infection of course. Clear? We will see what they are doing. Let us take an example. This is this was a bacteria. Okay, we just take an example that these fragments are produced during classical activation. This is an antigen. What should be this? Antibody. antibody. And what is this? Active tail of antibody. Just rapidly tell me what will be this? C1. And now you tell me what is C1 now? I will put it here. What is this? C4B. And what has gone away? C4A. And then what is it? 2B. And what has gone away? 2A. Of course, C2A. Then both of them were acting as? Yes, please, hurry up. C3 converters. So which apple has gone now? C3 A. Now whole of it is? C5 converters. So which has been activated and put there? C5 A. And which apple has gone? C5 A. And of course remaining story is not difficult. Yes, 6, 7, 8, 9. Am I clear? Membrane attack complex. Now we will see what are the functions of these proteins, right? They do also have a functions, right? And what are the functions done by them? You remember there was blood vessel vascular system here, right? And every connective tissue in your body has mast cells. You know mast cells? 
mast cells are connective tissue cells, right? So this is connective tissue area. So there must be some very special cells here, which are called, we say mast cells, right? Mast cells have a nucleus, of course. With that, they have many granules which are loaded with histamine and proteolytic enzymes. You know it? Serotonin, these are the granules of the mast cells. Am I right? There are many things which can activate the mast cell. Everyone knows Ig, IgE can activate the mast cells. Right? Physical trauma can activate the mast cells. Ultraviolet light can activate the mast cells. Thermal trauma can activate the mast cells. Right? Microbiological injury can activate the mast cells. Radiation can activate the mast cells. So mast cells are present throughout your connective tissue. And any type of injury, they are very, very sensitive cells. Touch me not. They are very, very sensitive cells. Any type of injury can activate the mast cells. And mast cells start producing prostaglandins and leukotrains. And they start releasing histamine. And all these things start the process of inflammation. That is why you injure here, inflammation will start. That is why you give thermal injury, inflammation will start. You give radiation injury, inflammation will start. Even you as insect bite, insect venom can activate mast cells. And mast cells produce their products and start the inflammation. But right now, what is important for this, mast cell I told you is very, very sensitive. So it means it should have receptors for so many things. And it should have a very, very sensitive membrane. The little change and injury, they become active. The very important news right now is, mast cells are also sensitive to the apples. They are having receptors for these apples. Especially C3A and C5A. They are having receptors. Mast cell surface have receptor for, yes please. I don't know how to make apple. I think kids know how to. Okay, this is apple. What is this? C5A. And there is another receptor. These are proteins which are normally present on the surface of mast cells. And this is a receptor for? C3A. C3A. Right, this can fit over there. C3A. So what really happens? When bacteria start producing injury, and once the complements are activated by any pathway, if there is lot of C3A product and C, C3A and C5A product produced, they can simply activate the mast cells. And when local mast cells are activated, they produce more yes. histamine and other vasoactive products. This histamine will produce vasodilatation. So more blood come into this area to fight. Maybe more blood means more neutrophil. More monocytes which will come into convert into macrophage. More blood means more antibodies. More blood means more complements coming to this area. And then histamine act on endothelial cells. So endothelial cell shrink. And all these things like complement proteins and antibody can ooze out. So it means that once complement are activated, and complement produce C3 and C3A and C5A product through the mast cell activation, they amplify the inflammatory response. They produce vasodilatation and they produce increased permeability. So we can say C3A and C5A are not the lost apples. These are the biologically active products. They act as, yes, inflammatory response amplifier. It means these fragments of the complement activation amplify or augment the inflammatory response. Or simply we say these fragments of the complement protein complement inflammatory response. So now you understand that these complement proteins once they are activated, they complement the functions of the immune system as well as they complement the inflammatory response. Am I clear? Is it good or bad? It is good, of course. Apples are never bad until they are rotten. Now, C3A and C5A can activate mast cell. C5A has one more function. C5A has one more function. 